Alrighty, hey guys, once again, I'm here with a backpacking friend, Josh, or Mr. Bacon, as we affectionately call him. I'd say he's going to be talking a little bit about how to properly clean, store, and just in general maintenance tips uh, to help keep your sleeping bag in good working order for many years to come. So, take it away for us. Alright, so in a previous video, I discussed what to look for in a bag between down and synthetic. I would say cleaning them is slightly different. Uh, with it down, you want to be more careful when you clean it. Um, just make sure that you don't get the down clumped together and then it stays clumped. Um, typically with me, I'll probably just take like a wet rag and wipe it down. You want to check with the manufacturer to see if you can clean it. If I remember correctly, you can clean this one in a washer on cold. Of course, don't put it in a dryer. Uh, that could definitely ruin it. Um, so. I mean, for me, I'd probably just try and wipe it down with a wet rag to try and get the dirt off so it's not grinding the material and making it fray. And stay away from soaps, too. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of how I would clean my bag, just with a wet, wet rag. You could use light, light soap mm -hmm. just to try and pick up a little bit of dirt. Yeah, no fabric but, softener. But nothing, nothing too strong at all. Um, now for storage, most people will like to store their bags all compressed in a small bag. And what that does is it ruins your insulation properties. Which will, it'll keep all your down or synthetic compressed together and then it won't poof back up as big when you got it. I did that for a couple years with a previous zero degree bag and it doesn't insulate at zero degrees anymore. So what you want to get, and most bags now come with it, is a really big dry or um, storage bag. So you'll just put it in here, it stays all uh, poofed up. You put that somewhere where it won't get um, compressed or anything, so up on the high shelf or something like that. So then it'll stay and keep its insulation properties all good. So you can you can also, I think, buy these at any sporting goods store. Most of them do come with bags now. Another thing is just taking a hanger and hanging it up on a hanger or trying to just kind of fold it up kind of nicely like this and put it on a shelf. That also works if you don't have a storage sack. Pretty sweet. So thank you very much, Josh, and we'll see you all on the trail.